Um, I didn't know if this was ever going to be made, but here I am. I'm finally going to start continuing this series. Um, yeah, so this is my game room. It might look completely different to episode one of the video if you guys haven't caught up with me. Um, I stream now. I stream on Twitch, Facebook. Uh, it's Figzy AF. If you want to check me out, I stream on DLive as well. We upload videos to YouTube. Um, I stream a lot of PUBG and other games. I try and stream a variety of games. But, um, I'm going to get into what you guys love, and that's collecting PS3 games. I'm going to continue to, I promise I'll continue to do these videos regularly. I've got so much content that I want to get it out. Anyway, I'm going to get it going. I'm, so what I'm going to do is, I've seen my first video, I'm not going to talk about those 15 games, but I'm going to go through from A to Z, or from numbers to Z, and talk about all the games with PS3 that I believe are rare and collectible, things that you guys should be picking up. Um, so starting off with the numbers, we've got uh, some 007 games. Um, so there's four 007 games. I believe there's two that are pretty collectible worth picking up. First one is 007 Legends. Now uh, this includes four games. It's got Golden Finger, Moonraker, License to Kill, and On Her Majesty's Secret Service. And then the second one I believe you guys should pick up is GoldenEye Reloaded 007. There's also a version with DLC, the MI6 edition, if you guys can see that, definitely pick it up. Now uh, the next game is another number game. We've got 3D Dot Game Heroes. If you guys are into collecting for the PS3, you know this is a pretty rare game, it's made, uh, produced by Atlas. This is the Australian copy, so ours wasn't done by Atlas, but the American one is. Um, it's a, it's like a 2D Zelda. It's a, actually a really fun game. You kill enemies, your sword gets bigger as you go around. But, yeah, if you go see this for even under $40, you definitely pick it up. It's ripping up in price. And it's pretty hard to come by now. Alright, so the next all the games are pretty rare. Like In terms of rare games for the PS3, these are up there with the t any any at the top ten rarest games. Um, they're in numbers, so that's why you guys get to see them on episode two. Um, so without further ado, there's three games. First, we've got 3D Collection. Can't quickly show you guys these. This is the next level, and the 3D Gaming Pack. Now, I'm sure most of you have never seen these before. These are really rare. Um, what they are is they were sold with 3D TVs. They were also, so you bought a 3D TV, you bought a PS3, and this was bundled with it. Now, this one only included a download code. Um, it's got four games on it, as the other two do. Now, they've all contained Wipeout HD, Pain, Motorstorm, Pacific Drift. And this one, as well as this is the next level, they both contain Super Stardust HD. It's the only way you get it physically. And then the 3D collection, it contains Super Strike HD, which again is the only way to get it physically. Uh, so this one first only included a download voucher, voucher which is now expired. Uh, copies are basically impossible to find because of this. I only know four in the world that exists. Um, I'm in Australia and I've been collecting for a long time, it took me about five years to find. Yeah, this next one is from Brazil, it comes with a disc, it's quite cheap to buy online but you need to know someone in Brazil to get it. Um, yeah, it, it's a lot more common but it's still, again, really hard to find. This one is from Malaysia. Um, it's got to be sealed, it's, it's pretty hard to find. I'm sure it's commonly in Malaysia but copies on eBay are creeping up on 200 plus dollars. Um, yeah, so those are a pretty cool trilogy to own. Um, stoked to have all three of them. And yeah, if you guys are in a rare, like when I'm talking rare, that's a rare PS3 game. So be on the eye looking out for those three. Good luck. Next, we have something that's not even close to that, but it's an uncommon game. And if you see it, you should definitely pick it up because it's an EU exclusive. Got absolute supercars. Now I got my copy from the UK pretty cheap. 
Never played it. It's like a generic racing game, but it wasn't the easiest to find. Um, next we've got Adam Venture Chronicles. This is a Sadesco title. It's actually quite a rare game, in my opinion. Uh, not rare, rare, but it's quite hard to find. It's very collectible. I don't see it very often, um, and it's quite expensive. And being a Sadesco title, it's, it was actually a fun game. It was like a little Uncharted knockoff. I enjoyed it. But yeah, you guys should definitely pick this up if you're into collecting PS3 games. Next we have Aegis of Earth. This is like a tower defense game. Um, Australian copy wasn't that hard to find, but it can be quite expensive overseas. Um, it was a late release for the PS3, so I definitely recommend picking it up. Copies are going to disappear in the next few years. And it's a fun game, I enjoyed it. Good. Um, depending on how long this video is, no, I should have enough content. Doesn't matter. Alright, so these next games, yeah, they're not rare, but they're region exclusive. So the PS3 is a region free system. You can buy a game from South Africa or Japan or America, and it's going to work in your PS3. It doesn't matter where you live. So all English games are worth picking up if that's the language you speak, in my opinion, of course. Uh, so these games are Australian exclusives. They're the AFL games. We've got the Game of the Year edition here and the Standard Edition. They're cheap in Australia. If you're from Australia, you're probably like, why are these games on a rare and collectible video? Now, if you live in Australia, I recommend picking these up and trying to trade them with someone across the world. And if you're over the world and you're going for a full set, you're going to need to find someone from Australia to track these down. Um, we've also got AFL Life 2 and AFL Life 2 Game of the Year Edition. Um, so the AFL Good Live 2 Game of the Year Edition actually comes in a pack with um, a steelbook. I'll quickly show you guys that. Hopefully I can find this and <laughs> without wasting too much time. Here it is. I just saw a blank cover in my... Um, it comes with a nice steelbook. It's actually a G2 size steelbook. Okay, next, moving on, back to some rap games. Um, so, these are three games, but I'm going to talk about one first. So Africa for the PS3. This is a North American release, you can see with the red sun. It's in English, and it's got trophies. Now the next two, Japanese version, this is common. It's not in English, doesn't have trophies. You can get for about $10, $15. Then you've got the Region 3 version, which is called Hakuna Matata. Now, this is in English. If you want to play this game, you can get this copy half the price of the American, North American copy. The only downside is it doesn't include trophies. So if you're a trophy hunter, you're going to want the North American copy. Um, Africa's creeping up on, pro on one of the most expensive PS3 games. Like, copies have sold for more than 100 US. So, yeah, if you're a collector, you should... Definitely try to find yourself Africa. Um, some people's grail to get this. Had a buddy track it down recently, so um, yeah, it's cool to see people still grabbing Africa for their collection. And uh, next, we've got some JRPGs. We've got the Aragus games. If I pronounce this wrong, I apologize. Uh, we've got Generations of War, and then we've got a uh, record of Aragus War Two. And then Generations of War Zero. I've never played these games, the JRPGs, so all three of them I found, actually two of the three I found quite difficult to track down, one I just got lucky on. Um, but if you're collecting PS3 games, the JRPGs are definitely worth tracking down. There's a lot of them with the system. But they're all maintaining their value, so if you see them, definitely pick them up. Um, next we have Alice Madness Returns. It's actually a really good game published by EA. Um, you should also look out for the voucher it comes with because it comes with a copy of um, Alice Madness 
through. American McGee Alice, which is a highly acclaimed game as well. Um, yeah, so I recommend picking this up, guys. It's a hidden gem, so it's bound to increase in value. All the YouTube talk about it, etc. Um, here I am being cliche talking about it as well. But I enjoyed it, so definitely pick it up if you haven't got a copy. So this I can talk about for two games, I guess. Two of good. Akira Strip. It's a really weird game. I think I actually spoke about this in my first video, and I apologise if I did. I'm thinking back. But it's a... You play as, like, a zombie hunter, and you got to, like, take the clothes off the other zombies to kill them, and it's really weird. Uh, here's the Japanese version. It's called Akira Strip 2. It's the same game. The first one was released in Japan under some, I don't know, it's confusing. It's like Final Fantasy, that they got seven where we got six, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, next, and last lot of games I'm going to talk about in this episode are the Air Conflict games. There's three of them for the PS3, and they're all quite difficult to track down. I'm talking 20 US plus dollars each. Um, first one we've got Air Conflict Pacific Carriers. Again, I'm in Australia guys, so this is perspective from a collector in Australia. I've got about 1800 PS3 games all around the world. Uh, yeah, that's my experience. I've been collecting for about five years. I've been networking with people all around the world. Whether that's via Facebook groups or Instagram or YouTube meeting collectors in different countries and going to different game shops and meeting people's collections. Yeah, you name it, I've been doing it all my making accounts in different countries, <laughs> translating languages to talk to people in Finland, so I could track down six star games. Yeah, I've been on a crazy journey, guys, and it's not over yet. Next we've got Air Conflict Secret Wars. And last but not least, Air Conflicts Vietnam. Uh, the Air Conflict games, again, they're all quite difficult to track down. I recommend picking them up. They're not rare, but they're definitely collectible. And they're getting harder to find. That pretty much concludes um, episode 2 of Rare and Collectible PS3 Games with Figs. Uh, if you guys want to see more of me, check me out on Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitch, DLive. I'm everywhere. I'm on Twitter. It's Figsy AF. Um, Figsy Games on Instagram. As you can see over there. <laughs> yeah, well, I had fun doing this, guys. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to do an episode three soon. If you want to see episode three, give me a buzz. Um, you guys can see the letters I'm up to. So if I've missed anything, I'm up to uh, AI. So anything before AI. I'm not saying AI, I'm saying the letter A, and I'm up to AI. I haven't finished the A's yet. Hopefully we finish A in episode 2. I can see this being a really long series. Um, if you guys want to stay involved with collecting, there's a great group on Facebook which I help um, admin. It's called the PlayStation 3 Collectors. 1,800 members from all around the world. I'll leave a link in the description of this video. But yeah, um, I'm going to wrap it up there. So thanks for watching, guys. And um, peace. See you guys in the next video.